Hello and welcome back to the Minecraft Survival Series. <clears throat> um, this is episode 38, and I did some stuff. I got these. And this is where I used some of them. There's more in the stronghold, but I don't want to go over there. I also started a map wall. It's not finished. This one still hasn't been filled out. So far, it's been a huge pain in the butt I'm trying to fill this out really annoying. Is all that these I actually have no idea. Probably throw them into lava or something later. And yeah, here's where I used another one, another for like the verdant one. Here my um clay thing, and then this. This is for mud. Found a little water. I think someone else already came up with this design and I just ended up using using it. I mean, there really is no other way to quicken the process. Wait, that doesn't go in there. Okay, so I've also got some big plans coming up. If 1.20 does end up being an end update, it hasn't been announced yet. But if it is, I want to have all the end get was open in advance. I'm not doing that in this episode because that's going to be tedious. It's going to take a long time, and I don't have enough end crystals. And yeah, I did change my mind. I'm headed over to the the stronghold. So, yeah. See you guys in the stronghold. Okay. So I did use some frog lights in the stronghold. I need to remodel this place. I took the sea lantern that was here out and put a beacon in here for like, cause it's a lot more pleasing on the eye, in my opinion. Those beacons are just an awesome block.
And completely remodeling this room into a giant cylinder is going to be a problem. Because my mob grinder, my zombie grinder is right down the hall from here. I'm going to run back and grab that mine cart. And then I will use the end as a shortcut to get home. This will only take a second. But I do want to completely redo that end portal room, like make it into a cylinder. And just have an end portal in the center. I do kind of wish I could start doing like live streams here on YouTube. But I don't know how to do that with the NVIDIA GeForce thing, the in-game overlay, which is what I used to record. <coughs> so I don't know how to do that, but I want to, that way I can just live stream myself building instead of having to do these progress updates. But until I figure that out, that's not going to happen. Now I'm going to use the end as a shortcut to get back to my base. Do you like what I did here so far though? Stupid saliva. But yeah, I have an amethyst cluster on top of the um Ah oh, crap. Oh crap, I forgot they don't even float. I forgot about that. Um Hang on. Dang it! I don't have any. I thought I had some in there. Okay, this is a predicament. Um, hold on. But yeah, I want to open up all the end gateways around the island, the main island. Okay, there's some bird or something that's been giving me a ton of spare tridents lately. Every time I come into the end, I usually end up with at least one extra. It's... it's weird. Maybe it has something to do with the loyalty? I don't know. Okay. Are there any clusters in here that I could take? Yes. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm out of rockets too. So, no flying for a while. <coughs> I am going to make the spawning chamber in my mob farm, which I believe you have seen me run by. I've never used it on camera. Um, I'm gonna have to make the spawning room larger. Just let me put this on the uh, that post in the in portal room. I'm gonna actually do that. I'm gonna record me doing that so that you guys don't have to think about it anymore. I'll be right back.
believe I was stupid enough to do that. That's better. Okay, once we head back to the main part of the base, I am going to head up to the surface to show you something else that I did. You won't believe how long it took me to get those stupid frog lights. Two real life hours of just going to the right temperature biome, breeding frogs in mass because they kept dying in the nether and en route to the enclosure I have underneath a fortress and a basalt deltas. Just to make sure I got plenty of magma cubes. To lure into the chamber and then they get eaten. And then I get the lights. And then I use the lights. And then I throw the rest into a chest. And they just sit there. So yeah, I'm going to throw these into storage. Actually wait, before we head all the way back, I want to see something. I want to see if any of these have been growing. Because I turned my simulation distance up whilst making the map wall. I don't know if that e would even affect it. A simulation distance because you're loading more chunks. Did I turn it down? I believe I turned it back down. Yes, I did. I turned it down when I was finished. So, oops. Oh. Yeah, some of these are growing a little bit. Is this one full? Yes, it is. Uh, how about this one? Yep. Okay, I can tell those aren't. Uh, I can't tell. That one? No, I don't think so. That one is. What about this one? Is this one full? Okay, it didn't stack with the others, so it's not. Oh, oops. Wrong block, or not block, I don't, whatever. Okay, let's check on the other one. Let's see if it's still, if it's grown at all, I don't think I'm going the right way. You can see why I didn't use this cave for the biome that I've been working on. Because this cave is honestly too big. And the ceiling is the hard part. Even in that other cave with the flattened ceiling from the 1.17 chunks. That's your hard part. How's this that you have doing? Why do I have a bed in here? Was I planning on moving down here? Uh, I don't know. This. Oh. Okay, let me move these stars out of the way. Okay, that was a full cluster. That one is not. That one's not. That one's not. Uh, that one might be. Yep. Okay, I think that's it for that geode too. I think they're both pretty easy to access. Now I have to like climb up to the ceiling or anything. Oops. Okay, I got completely sidetracked by that. I just wanted to check the geodes to see if, how many of these I could get, and I got six of them. But the rest were not fully grown into clusters yet, so I didn't take them. Got these and the shards from 
a mistake I made at the stronghold. To be real, if these could float, I would know. And they'd still be on lightning rods. I'm still a little upset about that. But at least you can put them on fences and upside down stairs and stuff like that. Soul speed is still broken in 1.19.11, so that's still a problem. So, no soul speed drill usage yet. Uh, can I go and come up there? Is this one full? Yes. Okay. Put these with the. Oh, yeah, I, sw I had a spare end crystal. I haven't used the other four. Nah, I. Um, okay, apparently this one wasn't full. Where do I put it? Put it on that one. At least if you replace them on the budding amethyst, they still grow. So, I could have taken the smaller clusters and moved them over here. Actually, I might start doing that. Going over to the dudes. Taking all of the clusters, whether they're fully, fully grown or not. Moving them to the geode that is basically my respawn point. Oh yeah, the ancient debris shulker box has been removed from this room. These are being moved too. All three of these are going to have their own display room dedicated to these ores, and that's where the frog lights are going to be used. Like, all three types of them are going to be used. I'm not going to build that yet, because I've got a lot of terrain to flatten out. Because I got a suggestion in the comments to build, like, an industrial district for all my farms and stuff. I don't have that many. I have a lot of ores, though. Trust me, these piles were larger. The iron was, like, up to the ceiling before I made it higher. But, yeah, a commenter also suggested that I build, um, I believe he wanted me to build, like, a lab with stasis chambers or something to go afk in or something like that and something to do with dinosaur skeletons i don't know i'll have to go back and read the comment again but yeah shout out to influx mc for those ideas i will execute i will do them to the best of my abilities i'm not that good of a builder but i'll try this iron is on the wrong side of the room. It's supposed to be over there with the rest of the pile. But that doesn't matter because I'm going to fortune every single one of these ores except the copper. The copper is staying in here. Because I'm running. I, that shulker box is pretty much full. That shulker box is full. And the ancient debris staying here too, so I'm gonna move this one over. I need to find more ancient debris. I think we can. Should I take these out of here and like stack them up? Or should I just fortune them out of the pile? Uh, I'll just fortune all of them. Mm -hmm. I hope I don't accidentally break the wall or something. Like I said, the iron is staying, not the iron, uh, the copper is staying in here. Because the stroker box for refined copper is full, or very close to full. And if I were to fortune all of this, all this copper, I would need a second choker box just to store it all. I'll just move this over here. Okay, redstone's been fortuned. I did start. I did. Um, I believe I finished harvesting the ore vein in the dripstone cave, the one I found back in episode 21. 
and that's where all this iron came from. There was more, but I forged some of it already. And now I'm going to be emptying this room out, except for the copper pile over there. Uh, am I even recording? I really hope I am. Hang on. Yes, I am. Okay. Oh, I don't know what that was. Probably because of like keyboard shortcuts or something. Okay, iron pile is almost gone. Oh, oh crap. Um, that was an accident. I'm gonna fortune the diamonds last because I got a bunch of them. Some from the deep dark, some I had before I went to the deep dark. Um, yeah, the cylinder originally had a lower ceiling with sea lanterns, but I wanted those sea lanterns back, so I swapped them out for redstone lamps. And I also made the ceiling higher. Okay, before we forge the diamonds, let's see. 24 blocks of raw iron, not bad. 22 blocks of lapis. How much redstone can I get? 17 blocks. Good. I needed to replenish my redstone supply anyway. I used it all in this room. Coal. Iron. I had gold in here, but I forged that already. Okay, okay, um, I believe either a fortune's on the way or it's buried under here. I didn't tap into that, that copper vein yet, that copper vein back at the deep dark, I haven't tapped into it yet, because I'm running out of room for copper. Plus I have this massive pile right here, it doesn't need to be any larger at the moment. I want to make my ancient debris pile larger. Did I just break the wall again? No, I didn't. Okay. What? That's a lot. That's the most diamonds I've ever gotten out of fortuning a pile. That's awesome. I forgot to craft the coal in the blocks. I gotta smelt all the iron. That's gonna take up a bunch of lava. It's a good thing I have a large lava farm. Okay, that's taken care of. So I'm gonna put the ores away that don't require being smelted. Those that do, I'm going to put them in the furnace, or blast furnace, and just leave them to smell. Oh yeah, um, here's some locked maps. This one I kind of regret locking because it's not complete. Uh, it's too late now. And that's where all my rockets went. If you remember last episode, yeah, these are the four and crystals. I'm gonna get more. The gas tears shouldn't be too big of a problem. I've got pretty good enchantments. So I should survive. I, I shouldn't die at all. Okay. Drift these down into stacks. Oh my god. A lot of stacks. Okay. Do that. Now to go through all of these. That's another diamond block right there.
Never thought I would collect this many diamonds in a survival world. My redstone supply needs to be replenished because I use it for brewing. I've been brewing a lot of night vision potions lately. I did I fortune all my gold? Yeah, I did. I need to get some more. I'll probably take a trip to the Nether and get it from there. There's lapis. And the coal does not go in here. Coal. Which barrel was it? This one. Okay, this is fall. I should probably transfer some of this stuff elsewhere, especially these that I got from the ancient city. I'm still really glad I got those. These can be moved. This can stay. Um, yeah. You, you remember those ancient city chests were filled with... Um... They were filled with soul torches. I need to find somewhere better to put this chain mail. Now I am going to show you the zombie grinder. Not the zombie grinder, the um the mob farm. That room up there, I'm gonna be making that larger. The spawn rates have gotten kind of slow. My AFK spot used to be down there. I would have a skull catalyst that I would stand on. But I decided to move it. Like, I would have these potions. I would drink, um, yeah, I would drink one. Normally I would have RTX off so that I could see through the window. But trust me, inside there's completely dark with tinted glass. Sometimes I have to break the window and shoot arrows through it to kill spiders because they kind of block the the dispenser, the water, so they don't go down the shaft. Here's the spot I would. I would let a bunch of mobs spawn slowly, like over time. I would go do something else. Well, it's letting that happen. And then once a, bu once, once a bunch of them respond, I would hit the button and a bunch of water would flood in. Trust me, it would. Yeah, that's the inside. Water would flood in there. They would fall down that hole. There is a sign in there. And then I would drop down onto these slime blocks. Or I would just glide down, assuming I wanted to. And they'd come down here. They wouldn't take damage because there is water up there. So that I could use looting. I did get some gunpowder. I also got these. This. This. Pillar just spawn up there sometimes. I also get iron, gold stuff which I can smell. So it's, it's almost like a makeshift gold farm in a way, and also a makeshift iron farm in a way. Not sure why I threw these in there. But yeah, that, that's the mob. That's the multi-purpose. Mob grinder. That room up there is gonna be made larger, and I'm gonna have to move the dispensers. And how do you craft repeaters? I'm gonna need those for extending the redstone signal. I think if that's how that works. Repeater. Oh boy. Yeah, it's not not that resource intensive. It's just redstone does redstone torches. And. I think you could use deep, uh, can you use deep slate, like cobbled deep slate as a substitute for it? Because at this point, I have more deep slate than I do stone. 
I have not harvested that chorus plant. And my bow is going to break soon. And because of that, I've had this backup bow just kind of sitting here in my ender chest for a bit. Oh yeah, here's one of the spare, spare china. That's the original. This is the spare. And I have a bunch of other spares in storage too. Because of what happened in the end. Uh, let, me, let me harvest this coarse plant. It's good target practice if anything. Because it gives you a chance to kind of work on your aim. And once you cut it down, you can't get hit by arrows, so there is a bit of a penalty. If you misfire or something like that, like, like I just did. There's a chorus flower thing up there. So if you mess up, there is a chance you could get hit by your own arrows if you're not careful. I swapped out the chest for a shulker box. I really should empty that, but I have plenty of end rods, so I just haven't. Okay, you gotta go, because I don't like you. You're just plain annoying. Get. I wonder if I could probably repair this, like, one more time, and then... After it hits the too expensive mark, we can... Disenchant it. I can throw it into storage. Yeah, I swapped out the chest for a shulker box. I put all the stuff in storage. This was not an intentional duplication exploit. I did not do this on purpose. In fact, it kind of freaked me out a little. That was panicking. No, well, not really panicking, but... I was... I went into the end. I didn't even have my main... My... Um... I didn't have this in my hand. And I just go to the end. And then my inventory starts filling up with these. With the exact same durability. Exact same enchantments in the exact same order. And we're standing there on the island like, what the heck, what is going on? Why are there a bunch of tridents entering my inventory? So if anyone has an answer to that, feel free to let me know. So, yeah, that's that. There's also this one, which I haven't been using. That, that's from somewhere else. I think I killed the drowned or something. Enchanted books. How's this going? Pretty good. That's still smelting. Oh yeah, the, the amethyst cluster that was up there, I did remove that. And I ended up in here. And these will be moved. I am going to move them into their own little display room. Despite the fact that I already have one with every type of ore. I 
Um, I don't know if I should like reverse the oxid oxidization on the floor or if I should just leave it. Not quite sure which one would look better. But in terms of the whole like industrial district thing, that's not gonna be started for a while. Because that still needs to be flattened. I think I'm do I want to expand that way? No, because there's a pillar over there that indicates something. That's staying the way it is. That's gonna be that room up there will be made larger. Um, that's probably going to have to be moved again after I flatten a bunch of terrain. Oops. That's going to take some time, so that big project is not going to be started for a while. And I do want to open all the gateways, that's going to be another thing. That's probably going to be the first thing that I do after getting all the crystals. I'm gonna show you where I keep, um, not where I, uh, I'm gonna show you where I put, um, where I get frog lights from, sorry. Normally I would fly over, but again, I don't have any rockets. I could probably get some more gunpowder while I'm also getting guest tiers for end crystals. Which I'm gonna need a lot of. Just to make sure that I have enough for the end gateway thing, I'm probably just gonna get two stacks worth of end crystals. Just just to make sure. Because I do wanna have some left over for another display I wanna work on. That's why I moved the ores out of that room that's next to my custom biome. The room where the map wall currently is. Um, I want to put end crystals in there. But yeah, you can see how there's a basalt delta underneath the fortress. Sometimes blazes will float down here and not to take them out. But besides that, this is where all three frogs are. I get slime balls, come out here. Lure magma cubes closer to the chamber. Swift Steak comes in handy for these magma, magma block patches in this biome. Plus, you can still move pretty quickly, despite not sprinting. I put that there. <clears throat> so, yeah. Ow. So, that's it for that, pretty much. I honestly thought I was gonna have to do like a crazy redstone farm or something. And I don't do very well with redstone. So. Okay, I'll see you back at the overworld. Oops, I ran too far. Uh. 
I wanted to head over to the monument and try and figure out where like how to get guardians to spawn in like a specific spot but I, I decided against it because of how annoying that's been I've had to tear up the some of the quartz slabs on the floor got torn on up and then put back down torn up again not only that but getting the water to be source blocks was also a pain and then when it didn't work I got rid of the water I don't want to flood the entire monument again because that would have made draining it completely redundant it would have made it a complete waste of time so let's take one of each of these sorry that that's an odd number there's nothing I can do about it I need to get more of these I'm waiting for the shulker box to be empty and then I'll refill it after. You know what, I'm not putting end crystals in the sperm. Instead... Um, yeah, these can, these can go. Oh, well, I'm not gonna remove them from the room completely. Let's put it back here. I need a full block first. It's so cool that you can let these with a fire aspect sword on bedrock proves that this version does have its advantages. I think I'm gonna put these... Um, no, not over here. Keep in mind that the location of this is temporary. I'm not making any pedestals right now. Yeah, I've changed my mind. I gotta, I gotta, um, I gotta put them somewhere. But this is cool, though. I'll probably move these into like a smaller room eventually. Probably put it in the stronghold or something. But for now, I kind of like this. Kind of like how it's like color coordinated. I put these items up. Oops. 
So, yeah, that take this as more or less a concept for a new room. Oops. Until I figure out a place to put it in, like, the stronghold. That's kind of where I want it to go. Because I do go over there often for, like, XP or to just prepare my gear. I know that Skull Catalyst is in the wrong place. It's just there until I can... You know what, I do have six gunpowder up there. I could probably get... But, okay, so... Six gunpowder. I get three rockets per crafting, so that would give me 18 of them. I think. Hope I have that right. But yeah, I do want to make that room up there larger. I know I keep saying that. And I need to get the whole, um, need to get the whole lab thing started after I flatten some terrain. But before I do that, I want to get all the end gateways opened. It's basically what I'm going to be doing when I'm not recording, because I don't want to record 19 total dragon fights. It's the first, the first one's already done. That one was already done. So I need to bring some of my extra paper back in here. It's in that other room. Yep, I was right. 18 rockets. Now I can take the skull catalyst out of here. And which sugar box was it? Was it this one? Yes, it was. Throw it back in there. I gotta get another one of those. Let me grab some of that paper. I think it might be time to har harvest the uh, sugarcane farm again. It's not automatic. Yeah, it's time to harvest the ship again again. Oh, oops. <laughs> you can hear them jumping around in there. There are two of these missing. I'm supposed to get 56 up there. No, it's 55. There we go, that's better. I like how I put the be the haste beacon like light green in with the sugar cane farm. I'm kinda tempted to take those diamond blocks back though. And there's this. Lightning did actually strike this. There was a storm going on in the game. And it did strike this. Luckily the candle survived. And I planted a few pumpkin stalks. 
for some reason. I think I'm gonna switch those back to melons. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I don't really have a use for pumpkins at all. I have more use for fine holy one one pumpkin stock, but that's it. Nothing else. Just just one. Time to get the twisting vine farm up and running again. I think a bone meal would feel crimson fungi. That shulker box is not in a good spot. But yeah, I'm probably gonna move this. Uh, another fungi farm. I wish we had proper offering functionality in this version. Banner waypoints would be nice too. Ooh, nice. Nice tall fungus. Did I make nether biomes in the overworld? I have a feeling the Soul Sand Valley is going to be the trickiest one because it has the basalt columns. Spanning from floor to ceiling, the overworld doesn't really have a ceiling. I mean, it has a build limit, but that would just look weird. That'd be a bit too tall. So, yeah, should I make like nether biomes in the overworld? Like, build some cylinders out of glass and then put some biomes in there. Because once I surround that monument with a glass cube, I'm going to get all that sand back. And I'm probably going to use it for both glass and concrete. I figured this would be a good way to start using concrete more. So yeah, I think, I think I'm going to do it. Oops, that doesn't go in there anymore. I don't want to forget to fix that. That's gonna bother me. I'm 
many shulker shells do I have left? I'm curious. Uh, I moved them. Where are they? Did I put them in here? No. What the? Ah. Oh, we're missing a pickaxe. No, we're not missing a totem. We're missing a pickaxe. I didn't use any totems. Is it in here? I had spares. There they are. So I, I could make 12 choker boxes with these. Plus I have an end city designated for shulker duplication. Do you like the um pearlescent frog lights in the corridors? Or this corridor? Do you do you guys like that or did you like it better with the just being illuminated by the amethyst clusters. I like it better this way because it makes me less um, thinking that the mobs are going to spawn in there. If that made sense, I don't think it did. Okay, I don't really... I don't really have anything else that I want to do on camera. Just whilst expanding that platform up there and getting more end crystals, I do want to be able to like listen to whatever music I want. Stupid copyright. Does nothing good for me. But yeah, with nothing else that I would like to do on camera, I think I'm going to end the episode here. So, thank you for watching, subscribe if you would like to, I upload Minecraft videos every Friday. Um, I will be doing some ex some expanding, flattening, fighting the Ender Dragon a million times over. So, yeah, th those are going to be some big, big tasks bigger than the monument project which is still unfinished i know i've been neglecting it and i apologize for that um my problem is getting a bunch of quartz getting enough quartz to finish the floor even with some spots that might end up being torn up because of the, the guardians or whatever um so yeah um Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to. I upload Minecraft videos every Friday. Um, again, uh, thank, um, thank you to Influx for the idea of the industrial district. I will start that eventually. Um, uh, creepy. Let's hope 1.20 is an end update. That way, I don't. That way, I don't feel like I've opened the gateways for nothing. I'm. St I'm gonna open them regardless um yeah i'm gonna edit this video get it uploaded i figured i'd do the outro in a different spot down on top of my favorite oops my favorite or for once uh, yeah that is going to that'll, that'll do it for this video it's very random I gotta think of a thumbnail now. Um, yeah, I sort of screenshot the orb room before fortuning everything. Whatever. Um, I'll see you in the next video.